here I'm going to show you how to prevent a user from entering spaces in a cell. And to do this, we're going to use custom data validation. Sounds scary. Don't worry. It's not. So let us say that we are entering a part number or anything where you do not want a space. But the user has put a space in there. That's a problem. It's going to corrupt our data later. So we don't want to allow them to input a space from the start. We're going to use custom data validation for that. And in order for that to work, we must create a formula that outputs true when the input value is allowed and false when it is not allowed. So I'm going to show you a really cool little formula for that. And there are about a million different ways to do this. But the way that we are going to do it is to use the substitute function. And the first thing is to select the cell that has the text that we want to check. And now what do we want to do? We want to replace any spaces with nothing. So just like that, close the brackets, hit enter, and we have now replaced the space over here with nothing. So how do we make this evaluate true or false? Well, this is what we want to be allowed, no spaces. So we just see if this equals this, false. Now the user removes the space and puts a dash, which is allowed, and it's true. So just like that, and we are going to now take the substitute function, and we're going to go over here and replace B2 with that. It looks a little bit scary now, but that's why we built it in pieces. So now we have a single working formula. Test it once again, just to make sure everything's OK. And then back again. Perfect. Now, once you have this good, all we're going to do is to copy it and then put it into custom data validation. But make sure you get the cell references correct first, because you could apply this to an entire range if you wanted to, or just to a single cell. So if you only want it on the single cell and you don't want it to move anywhere, you can go ahead and put the dollar signs in front of the range references to make them absolute. Or if you only wanted it to move up and down, put them in front of the column references or the row references if you only want them to move left and right. For this example, I'm happy with the formula, so I'm going to go ahead and copy it, hit escape to get out, and let's go ahead and apply it to the top four cells right here. Then let's go to data validation, go to the data tab, data validation right here, or the keyboard shortcut alt D L. And here we go under allow, go to custom formula, paste it in. Always you want to paste in the formulas here. Do not create them right here. It is a sure way to cause errors. So everything looks good. Hit OK. Since there were no dollar signs, watch what happens. I go here, Alt D L. Look at the range reference, A2, A2. Now let's close the window and go down here, Alt D L. A3, A3. So that's why it's important to not have the dollar signs if you wanted to update for a range. And of course, you can have an input message if you want to tell the user that they can't enter spaces, or error alert if you want a more descriptive error message. But for now, let's go ahead and test it out. So the user wants to input a space. Error. It doesn't match your rules. They can retry or cancel. Go down here. Same thing. Now, let's say dash perfect up here. Perfect. And now the user cannot enter a space. Now, what if they just go here and go space one space enter? Nope, not allowed. So it is a really neat little formula. And I'm going to go ahead and leave this guy in here for reference so you can see how it works.